This tutorial is for my grandson who the other day asked me how do you animate a character's face so that it turns to the right and the left. This is really quite simple. What you're looking at right now is a flash and this is flash CS6. If you have flash CS4 or one of the older flashes that this still works the same. It's really quite simple. And what you're looking at is a stick character and that stick character is actually broken down into two parts. We, if we come down to the layer section, we'll turn off the head and we'll see that we have a body part on its own layer. And if you notice, that body part does not move at all. It's stationary. Then we have on the upper layer our head. And if you notice, the head turns. The face and the, uh, the eyes and the mouth will turn to the left and then turn to the right. And if we want to see the whole animation, there it is. Let's see it one more time. Now, how do we do that? One of the key things to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort is to go to a drawing pad. And this can be in Illustrator or some other program. I'm using the Illustrator CS6, but you can use any program or older version of Illustrator. And what you do is you create an artboard. And on that artboard, you create a character. And here's our character that we saw on the screen, a little happy guy, stick character. And if you notice, I drew some other characters. Now, these characters were really easy to draw because all I did was take this, the body, the, face, the head, the hands, and the feet, and all I did was change them. And it only took a few minutes to do this because the hand here is pointing up, the hand here is pointing down. In Illustrator, all I did is take the reflection tool and reflect them the other way. And on the feet, I did the same thing. I took the feet, made a copy of this foot, put it in twice so that it's facing the right direction and took the rotation tool and rotated these feet and then all I did was draw the lines using the pen tool to connect the hands and the feet together really quite simple I wanted a girl version as well so therefore I created took these head moved it over made a, just made a copy of it moved over here got rid of the guy's hair and put on a girl's hair and shrunk it down a little bit so that it would fit properly into the same body. Really simple. Now how did I get the animation? The animation, what I did is I simply took the head and selected it, made a copy, alt, click, brought it up here, and then I had to determine how much how many times I had to move using my arrow key this mouth and these eyes to the left so they would look like it was looking to the left. And so I realized I was working with 12 frames per minute. And so the key was to determine first of all how many spaces this moves over. Now my in my uh, preferences tool it shows that every time I move my left arrow or right arrow or up or down arrow my spacing would be one point per space. Okay, so I cancel that. Come down here to my little cartoon and I go click on this, click on this. And this I'm shift clicking here. And what I do is I take the arrow keys and I count. One, two, three, save time. We're just going to move it on over. And we get it right over here on the edge of the line. Now, if we look, we can see the eyes moved over, the mouse moved over, and this eye is on the outside. We also know, I also found out this to move from here to here took 40 clicks of my left arrow key. So I took 40 clicks, put it down here, and I had to divide it by a number where if I wanted to, if I had a frame rate of 12 frames per second on my flash, which I did, and I gave each animation two frames, that's about six. But six doesn't divide into 40, in other words, 40 spaces. So what I did is I had to come up with an even number. Five divides into 40 spaces eight times. So each frame, or each two, every two frames, I would move this mouth and these eyes eight times. Okay, now we'll see how that works coming over here on the left hand side to my layers panel 
And the first thing I did is I made a copy of the exact face down here on the character. So this is before he starts to move. So that's one. That will go into one frame. And there will be two spaces. So in reality, I, I will have a, a character every two frames. Then what I did is made a copy of this. I did a selection such as this and did an alt drag and made a copy of that face and once I got a copy of this face I moved the mouth and the eyes well, using the left arrow tool, tool I moved them eight remember eight pixels or eight spaces so I hit it eight times one two three and you see it moved over just a little bit eight times then what I did is I selected this used the alt key made a copy of it moved it over and move the mouth and eyes again eight spaces. I did this a few more times so that I actually have five characters where the mouth is moving. So this is our five characters. Remember right down here each one has been moved eight pixels. So here's eight pixels, eight pixels more, eight pixels more, etc. Okay now we have all our movement. The next step is we want to select our original person. So we select the original person right here, but we all we want is the part that doesn't move. So we're going to select get a little lower here. We're going to select the body. I'm going to do a shift click and pick up the hand. And then I'm going to do control C and come over to the come over to the flash and I'm going to place into the artboard the body only. So the body's on its own layer. Remember this part doesn't move at all. Then what I'm going to do is go over and pick up my head, my first head. So I'm going to go to the artboard and pick up the first head right here, the one that hasn't moved yet, and bring it over to flash, do a uh, paste, and it's going to be paste into place right here on the first frame. Then I'll, I'll line it up on the body where I want it. Then I'll bring in the second head, line it up. And basically, you might have to use onion skin down here, or your, your skins. So you might have to use onion skin in order to line it up. But I'll paste it right there, line it up with the previous one. And that's really important so that they line up perfectly or right on top of each other. Then bring in the second head third head, fourth head, fifth head. After I'm done, and each one of these is placed two frames apart. So I've got one frame, two frame, a change. One frame, two frame. So each one's two frames. That gives us a nice smooth movement. So now if I move it across, you can see that it moves to the left. What I did is I've also put in a space enough of a couple frames so there's a delay from when this is on the left to where it starts to turn back the other direction. Now on these, all I did was reverse the order. I went over here, clicked on this keyframe, copied it, brought it over, placed it here. Clicked on this keyframe, brought it over, placed it here. So it's just a reverse of the same process. I didn't have to go back to my artboard. And so that moves ahead back in the other direction. So there's our final piece of work. That's how easy it is. The important thing to remember is to build this artboard. Each time you do an animation and you have to create a new face or expression, put it on the artboard so the next time when you create an animation, you've already have the, this artwork done and it'll save you a lot of time and effort.